Welcome, folks. Nice to see you on this Thursday lunchtime. I hope you're all well. As usual, the verbs for today are in the description box below. And if you want to contact us, Ian's details are there also. The peace of Christ be with us all. Shall we say it together? No one has seen God. God's only Son, who is dearest to the Father's heart, has made him known. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hear us, Shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock, you who sit in throne with you the cherubim, shine forth. Awaken your mouth, come and save us. Restore us, O God, make your face shine on us, that we may be saved. It is Psalm, Psalm 60. Psalm 60. For the director of music, to the tune of the Lily of the Covenant, a midtime of David, for teaching, when he fought Aram, Naharaim, and Aram Zobah, and when Joab returned and struck down 12,000 Edomites in the Valley of Salt. You have rejected us, God, and burst upon us. You have been angry. Now restore us. You have shaken the land and torn it open. Mend its fractures, for it is quaking. You have shown your people desperate times. You have given us wine that makes us stagger. But for those who fear you, you have raised a banner to be unfurled against the bow. Save us and help us with your right hand, that those you love may be delivered. God has spoken from his sanctuary. In triumph, I will parcel out Shechem and measure off the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine, and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet, Judah is my scepter. Moab is my wash basin, on Edom I toss my sandal. Over Philistia I shout in triumph. Who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Is it not you, God, you who have now rejected us, and no longer go out with our armies? Give us aid against the enemy, for human help is worthless. With God, we will gain the victory, and he will trample down our enemies. Now we see the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. We'll continue to read John's Gospel, John 9, verses 13 to 34. They brought to the Pharisees the man who had been blind. Now the day on which Jesus had made the man and opened the man's eye for the Sabbath. Therefore, the Pharisees also asked him, how he had received his sight. He put mud on my eyes, the man replied, and I washed, and no one sees. Some of the Pharisees said, This man is not from God, for he does not keep the Sabbath. But others asked, How can a sinner do such miraculous signs? So they were divided. Finally, they turned again to the blind man. What have you to say about him? It was your eyes he opened. The man replied, He is a prophet. The Jews still did not believe. 
but she had been blind. I was like, this was she at sight until they sent for the man to feel it. Is this your son? he asked. Is this the one you say was born blind? How is it now he can see? <clears throat> we know he is our son, the parents answered, and we know he was born blind. But how he can see now, or how he opened his eyes, we do not know. Ask him. He is of age. He will speak for himself. His parents said, his parents said this because they were afraid of the Jews. For already the Jews had decided that anyone who acknowledged that Jesus was Christ would be put out of the synagogue. That's why his parents said, he is of age, asked him. A second time the summoning man had been blind. Give glory to God, they said. We know this man is a sinner. He replied, whether he is a sinner or not, I don't know. One thing I do know, I was blind. But now I see. Then they asked him, What did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? He answered, I have told you already, and you did not listen. Why do you want to hear it again? Do you want to become his disciples too? Then they hurled insults at him and said, you are this fellow's disciple. We are disciples of Moses. We know that God spoke to Moses, but as for this fellow, we don't even know where he comes from. The man answered, Now that is a remarkable. We don't know where he comes from, yet he opened my eyes. We know that God does not listen to sinners. He listens to the godly man who does his will. Nobody has ever heard of opening eyes of a man born blind. If this man were not from God, he could do nothing. To this we reply, you are steeped in sin and belt. How dare you look out? And they do it not. Amen. Shall we pray together? Lord, our hope, we rejoice that you became flesh and made your dwelling among us, and we long for your return. As we wait for your coming again, and for the end of sorrow, pain, and death. We are bold to ask in the name of Jesus for your kingdom to be made known among us now. Lead us by the groaning of your spirit to pray for ourselves and our suffering world. So now we have a time of silent prayer. And you can pray for the things which are on your heart. Please pray inside.
Tanrı Hüseyin Hazretleri. Eternal God, for whom all people wait and sat, even when they do not know it, open the eyes of the blind, that they might see you. Open our eyes that have been closed by fear, or blinded by self-pity, that we might see you, even in the anxieties and uncertainties of our time. And in seeing you, we were comforted by your presence and made uncomfortable enough to seek to serve you, who is and was and is to come. Amen. Eternal God, you have said before us the great hope that your kingdom will come on earth and have taught us to pray for its coming. Make us ready to thank you for the signs of its dawning, and to pray and work for the perfect day that your will shall be done on earth as it is in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May God himself the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May the whole spirit, soul and body be kept very much at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, the one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Amen. Thank you, God, for listening to our prayers again today. Hopefully we'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.